Joining us is Jeff Locker, the fifth year head coach of the Mercer Mustangs and uh, a coach in a blink of an eye. You're in her fifth season. Uh, time has flown, hasn't it? Yes, it has. You know, and, and it's been a great five years. Um, I think that, um, you know, when I, when I originally took the program over, uh, we talked about being competitive, talked about maybe, you know, moving the program forward a little bit. And I think we're, we're in them stages of the game right now. Um, very fortunate last year to have a winning record, first one in uh, 10 years. And uh, that's, that's the goal, you know, to produce young, good quality young men that goes out in society and, and, and is productive there, but also uh, being competitive on the football field. How big was last year? How big was uh, getting that winning season? It was huge. You know, uh, it's hard to to really put it in words of saying how important it was because um, it just kind of happened, and and we we got on a roll. You know, and as I was telling the kids, you know, we got the Pony Express fired up. We got it moving. We were winning games, and, and <clears throat> what a lot of people don't realize is is I've won I won in the middle of that. That, that winning stretch, we had two subs in. Um, we had our starting, Seth Sturgeon, who was our starting center, had um, had a concussion. He didn't play for three games, and we lost one of our other linemen. We had, so we had two young kids in there playing, and that's what even made it more exciting that we seen these young kids step up and do that. So it was, it was a huge thing for our program. How, how much do you think about the way the year ended? I know a couple of those losses uh, to Cambridge Springs and one in the playoffs uh, – had to be something you've thought about a little bit since then. Yeah, you know, I think I think two things on it. You know, um, I think number one is um, in the playoff game against Cambridge. I think if we played the first half like we played the second half, the outcome might have been different. I'm not saying it would have, but it might have been different. I think the other thing is too is, is I think myself and my coaching staff, who I have a great coaching staff, I have everybody back been with me for the, the entire time. They do a great job. We got to do a little bit better. You know, um, we got to get to the, to the kids and say, Hey, this is, has, this is how our mindset has to be. And I think that's our job to do that. And I think that, uh, them two things over the, the winner has, has pushed us a little bit further. You mentioned the pony express and the pony express is back in your backfield, uh, with, the. Uh, Really, an outstanding trio of runners. Talk about these guys, and and what do you expect out of them this season? Well, you know what? First of all and foremost, they're all three great kids. You know, I mean, they've been in the program now uh, three and four years, and and, and you know, with Damian and and uh, Carter and Nick and and uh, I'm in that. So that's first and foremost. Second thing is, is I think that um, they seen last year what their capabilities are, and now they have a year under their belt. So we're expecting some big things from them. The neat thing about all three of them is that they're all three different style runners, you know. And I don't know if too many high school teams at our at our size, Class A, can say that they have that. Um, you know, we have, uh, you know, you look at Damien, he's a little bit of that scat back can get you, can hurt you at any given time. You know, with Carter, Carter, just he's, he's a hard runner. He'll get you them, them yards, but he can also get outside a little bit and, and hurt you. And then you got with Nick, you know, uh, he, uh, with Nick, he can run that middle. He can run from tackle to tackle and get you, get you that three or four yards when you need it. Um, so that, that's exciting to have that kind of skill uh, at a a small school like we have. And so I think that they're, uh, they come prepared. Them guys, them guys have been here all summer. They, you know, they're ready to go. Um, So I, I I think uh, barring anything crazy happen, I think the three of them will have pretty good years. And you also return three starters on the offensive line. Uh, You got starters back on the defense as well. Uh, Overall, you got to be pretty, pretty confident or at least encouraged about what you have returning going into the season. Yeah, you know, I think I think we're um we're in a really really good position. Um two things have to happen for us. First of all, I think um I think again we have to keep developing some young kids cuz like I mentioned earlier, that you know, last year we we had some injuries and we had some young kids step up and they did a great job for us. 
Um, we got to continue to do that, and, and we got to stay injury free, just like every other team. I mean, you know, you hear coaches say that all the time. And, and I think, again, um, I think our league's going to be a little bit better this year. Um, I think that, you know, Reynolds is, you know, they're, they're defending 10, District 10 champion. They're still the king. Until somebody knocks them off, you have to give them that. That's how I was brought up as a coach, you know. But I think that they're going to be a little more comparable. Um, I think you're going to have a good Cambridge Springs team. I think you're going to have a good Lakeview team. So I think our league's going to be pretty fun. I think I mentioned it to, um, I forget who I mentioned to it the other day, one of the other sports guys. I said, you know, Class A football around here this year might be pretty fun to watch. And there's no question that uh, you have circled the September 1st game at Reynolds as a uh, at least a, a big early season game for the Mustang program. Yeah, yeah, it is. You know, Coach Maul and I, Coach Maul and his staff do a great job with their guys. You know, and, and uh, um, it's fun. That's a fun game, even though one of these days we'll, you know, we'll, we'll uh, figure it out hopefully. Um, but it's a fun game. It's a competitive game, um, and I think he enjoys it just as much as we do down here. And that I think that is the true test to see where our benchmark is right now um in in to see if we're we're you know we're gaining ground if we've gained ground if we're over that hump or where we're at and i think i think that's um what we're looking at that's how we're we're attacking that that game there coach you have a, a one final full week of practice uh, here in the preseason and a scrimmage this saturday uh what are a couple things that you're hoping to accomplish here before opening night um i think this week here, we need to, to refine things, keep refining, keep refining, getting timing, just like everything else. Um, and we also need to, this week, test some of our young players, you know, um, to the point to see capabilities. And then in the scrimmage, most, foremost and most important thing is stay healthy in the scrimmage, but test against another team. Franklin gives us always gives us a good scrimmage. Test our kids to see where we're at, see what we need to work on, see what we need to build on to get us ready for the season. Coach Lassie, have you uh, have you have you finalized who your new quarterback will be? Um, yes, we we we're going to go in probably the start of the season with the Ryder Chapini. Um and um, he's a sophomore. He come back. He was at Kennedy last year. He was a freshman. He come back. Um, he's done a great job for us this summer. Um, he's worked hard. We had a nice, nice battle there for most of the summer. And, and, uh, so yeah, we're feeling that the rider will be the guy that'll, that'll take the snaps for us come game one. Coach, lastly, a, a year ago, your goal was a winning record. Uh, what's your goals for 2023? I think again, winning record, be competitive, get into the playoffs and win a couple playoff games. I think that's our goal. Our goal, you know, we, we, we're starting to set the bar a little bit. Now we got to move that bar up, up the scale. And so that would be our goal this year. You know, another winning record into the playoffs and win a couple playoff games would be the bar that we have to go for. Coach Jeff Locker, we appreciate your time here. We wish you and your team the best of luck, best of health, and I'm sure we will cross paths here during the season. Well, I sure hope so, Bob. Thank you for everything you do and, and that. And uh, uh, have fun this year. Have, hope you guys have a lot of fun watching some games this year.